I was blind, blind to how the world worked. And then I met a man who taught me to see, see how things really were. I loved him for it. And because I loved him, because I believed in him, and in a way worshiped him, I claimed the things he had faith in as my own. He called it his dream. It was a good one. But the world you see, the waking world, where we all live, it is a killer of dreams, a destroyer of things you believe in. So when I grew older, I realized it was foolish to deify him. Honestly, it's unfair to expect that kind of perfection from anyone. After all, we're all flawed and imperfect. There is no real difference between any of us, no matter how much we believe the lie that there is. You see, he wasn't a savior. He was just a man, a mutant like me. And his dreams, which still make me smile to this day, are no more valid than anyone else's, including mine. I love the idea of that, the promise of that. So what's my story? I'm a dreamer. I'm an X-Men. Cyclops. This video idea was actually recommended to me by my friend Lucas, so shout out to him. I'll leave his socials down below. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Imagine this. A scout ship from the alien Shi'ar Empire suddenly appeared and set fire to your father's private plane as you were returning from a family vacation. With the one and only available parachute, your mom pushes you and your brother out the plane door. When you jump out, when you're in the air, the parachute catches on fire. For the first time in your life, you use your unknown abilities. You activate your mutant optic blast for the first time to halt your descent. What you didn't know is that your parents are safe. They were teleported from the plane by the Shi'ar a second prior to the explosion. When you land on the ground, you have a head injury, an injury that affected the part of your brain to control your newfound powers. This is the story of Cyclops, the leader of the X-Men. The two boys were hospitalized and both suffered traumatic amnesia regarding the incident. The geneticist, who just happened to be Mr. Sinister, took an interest in the boys. He believed that Scott was the summer's brother with the most potential, so he had Alex adopted to separate them and render Scott emotionally vulnerable, something that he became. One night, Scott woke up and destroyed the roof of the hospital with his optic blast. When Scott woke up again, a year had passed. Upon recovering, Scott was placed in a state home for foundlings, an orphanage in Omaha, Nebraska. There, he was subjected to the batteries of tests and experiments by the orphanage owner, Mr. Milbury, an alias for Mrs. Sinister. Sinister placed mental blocks on Scott and took on the role of Lefty, who was Scott's roommate and bullied him at the orphanage. Sinister intervened any time anyone else came close to adopting Scott. As a teenager, Scott began to suffer from severe headaches and he was sent to a specialist, again Sinister in disguise, who provided him with lens made of ruby quartz. Soon after, Scott's mutant powers erupted from his eyes as an uncontrollable blast of optic force. The blast demolished the crane, causing it to drop its payload towards a terrified crowd. Scott saved everyone by obliterating the object with another blast, but the bystanders believed that he had tried to kill them and rallied into an angry mob. Scott fled, escaping on a freight train. Scott was drawn to a mutant criminal named Jack Winters, also known as Jacko Diamonds. Jack O'Diamond sought to use Scott's newfound talent in his crimes and physically abused the young boy when he initially refused. However, Scott's display of powers had attracted the attention of the mutant telepath, Professor Charles Xavier, who teamed up with FBI agent Fred Duncan to find Scott. Scott was rescued from Winter's clutches and was enlisted by Professor Xavier as the first member of the X-Men, a team of young mutants who trained to use their powers in Professor Xavier's dream for humanity and mutant equality. Now me personally, I really love Cyclops. He is easily one of my favorite characters of Marvel, simply because when he uses his abilities, it's just a sheer, pure display of emotions and power. The atmosphere he displays when using his powers is just, I don't know, something else. One thing I will say is that I do not like his early suits. Um, I like the more modern suits, such as Avengers vs. X-Men Aftermath. That is my personal favorite one. So just let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll make sure you see you guys later, and goodbye. Also, I apologize if my voice is a bit sleepy or deep, um, I recorded this at like 4am in the morning, so.